Okay, so I spent a couple of hours yesterday with my Orange Pi 5, trying to overclock it just out of interest really, and uh, was unsuccessful, but I thought I'd show some of the things I tried. So I'm running Conkey to show the clock speed at the moment, and if I open a terminal uh, to install Conkey, you can just put in sudo apt install Conkey, and it will actually show up as an app. So if we start typing Conkey, you can see you can launch it from here, or you can launch it from the terminal. But I've also installed P-Sensor, or I think I've installed P-Sensor. I've been switching between different operating systems. No, I haven't. So let's just install that. That will keep an eye on the temperature. So now I can launch that. And I don't think you can get, uh, so sensor preferences. Does this show you clock speed? CPU usage, temperature details no I don't think it does but there's other ways I can find that so let's just pop that down here for now so if we run NeoFetch which is installed by sudo apt install NeoFetch so let's just run that you can see that it's showing up as 8 CPUs 1.8 gigahertz exactly the same as Conkey but if we go to the browser and look at Orange Pi 5 Main frequency up to 2.4 gigahertz. So it's just the way that these are reporting. It's not a problem, not something to worry about. Uh, if we call up HTOP and go into setup with F2 and we've got display options. And if you have a look down here, also show CPU frequency. And you can show CPU temperature there as well. There's all sorts of things. And I, I haven't really ever messed around with HTOP. Um, but uh, yeah, there's so much you can do with it. There is a better look. I think it looks better in black colors. Black night, I thought it looked pretty cool. Now the good thing about this is this is going to show the clock speeds because uh, cores 1, 2, 3, 4, although it shows a 0, 1, 2, 3, you can actually show that as, where is it? Count CPUs from one instead of zero. So now you can see one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Because I was a little bit confused with CPU frequency utilities, which you install with sudo apt install CPU freak utilities. I've already installed it, so if I put in CPU freak info, you can see we get a huge amount of information. And uh, if I just pull that to the top so it maximizes. Uh, you can see here hardware limits 408 to 2.3. Keeps talking about 2.3, 2.3. And there is so much information in this. It only goes up to seven CPUs. Again, that's because it starts with zero. Now with CPU frequency utilities, there's loads of things we can change. And I was trying to overclock with this because I found a few guides uh, online that said you can overclock with it. And have I got it in this? I've been, I've tried so many different systems and various different things trying this overclock. Yeah, I've got something in here. Yeah, so I did manage to get this to work. Uh, so LSCPU, let's just try that first. So CPU max 2304, CPU min 408, and it tells us various different bits of information about our system. And I did try ambient config. Oh, and you've got to use sudo for that. And you can see there is a uh, under system. We've got a CPU speed and governor setting. So we can set the minimum CPU speed. So say for instance, I go 2208 and the maximum at 2304 and change it to performance and okay. Let's just exit out of that. You can see that it hasn't actually made any difference because the frequency is still at the low frequency. Uh, but I did manage to change it by using this command, which is to do with CPU frequency utilities, which I think might have already been installed in Ambient, but wasn't in Ubuntu. So you can see here, it asks for my password. So I've set it to performance, so it should be using the higher clock speed. And as you can see, it is, it's on 1.8 gigahertz and it's staying at that. There's loads of different settings you can use in this. I think it tells you if you do this. Yeah, so you can see here, available governors, conservative, on demand, user space, power save, performance. So that's definitely working. Uh, and so I tried to up the CPU. 
to 1.9 gigahertz uh, just running on this uh, this guide on Conkey. Obviously that's only one of the CPUs, but I thought I'd give it a try. And you can see it doesn't make any difference. But if I set it to 1.7, it won't show as 1.7, but yeah, keep uh, keep watching Conkey on the top. You see it drops to 16.08, so it's probably just how it's reporting it. But it does seem to be working. In fact, what does HTOP show? Yeah, so it's adjusting these cores, and they're obviously dealt with separately because it does seem that you can change it, but it looks like you can't go over the level that it's at, so 1.8 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. I also tried uh, playing around in the folders, so you can find it if we go to other locations. This is the same in Ubuntu and probably all the Linux versions. So it was under sys, devices, system, CPU, and there's well various different things. Individual CPUs, you've got control over in here and information about them. But I was doing it under CPU frequency because that's where I'd uh, seen it before. And you can see things like CPU max frequency. And you can't change this because it's read-only and all the, the methods I used to try and change it didn't seem to work. Um, and if you put another operating system in, you can't get access to these folders at all. Um, but I tried uh, Thunar file management, I tried chmod, I tried all sorts of different methods that I'd, that I'd read and none of them would let me change this and actually save it. Um, I'm, there's obviously a way of doing it but I couldn't seem to get anything to, to save and stay as it is. But I was happy that, that it's, uh, it's working with CPU frequency utilities to at least lower it and also to affect the performance of the CPU. So if we go to On Demand, you'll see that it drops right down. And it's only going to be when I start launching something that it's going to up it. So if I start Chromium and I really go for it and put a video on at 4K, I should be using window snapping for all of this, shouldn't I really? Does it give me this bottom corner? Oh, it doesn't want to give me the bottom corner. And that will hide Conky. Okay, well, let's leave that where it is. Let's pop the terminal down here for now out of the way and just check are we on 4k yeah we're on 4k uh, and you can see with htop 2304 is on some of these cores and 1.8 so all of this is working in fact I, i'm on 1.7 aren't i yeah the last thing i put in is 1.7 but it seems to have overridden that because it's gone back up to 1.8 so if we go to 1.7 there that drops it here and it, it still accesses 1.8, 1608. Oh no, it is trying to stay at 1608. So yeah, not so simple as, as overclocking a quad core Raspberry Pi 4, but then there was loads of information about a Raspberry Pi 4, but I thought I'd put it out there and uh, see if anybody's got any suggestions, see if anybody's had any success in overclocking the Orange Pi 5. I don't really need to, it's playing 4K. Uh, I mean, maybe for some PS2 games or maybe some more advanced Wii or GameCube games, we might need it. But um, I, I was just doing it out of interest. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.